since you already know how to make fresh pasta, you learned it from my mom last week, you already know how to make uh, ragù alla bolognese, uh, since Mia explained it to you uh, probably two weeks ago, we are going to prepare pesto alla genovese. Uh, it's revisited. Uh, since we don't have all the ingredients we need, we will just remove those and just add something that is more or less similar. Okay, what do we have? We have two cups of uh, uh, fresh basil, just the leaves, okay? Then we will have half a cup of parmigiano reggiano, this one, okay? Parmigiano reggiano is not parmesan cheese, I'm sorry for that. You, you can buy parmesan cheese, but parmigiano reggiano is a typical cheese from Italy, actually from a specific land in Italy and to be called Parmigiano Reggiano has to be produced uh, uh, in that area only. So whatever you find here that is called Parmesan cheese has nothing to do with Parmigiano Reggiano, but it will be fine anyway. You will have a link here, okay, on the bottom, so you can check the Parmigiano Reggiano website and see how the real cheese is done in the meantime. Okay, if you want to find it uh, in a grocery store, okay, it has to have this logo here, okay, otherwise it's not Parmigiano Reggiano, it's just Parmesan cheese. Okay, uh, I was saying two cups of basil, mm -hmm. uh, half a cup of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano or Parmesan cheese grated, obviously. Then the original uh, recipe needs uh, um, pine nuts, okay, half a cup of pine nuts, I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of pine nuts, we don't, we don't have it, okay, so we will use um, cashew, this is the only thing that we have, but that's fine for today. And then half a cup of um, olive oil, extra virgin, and some pepper. We don't need salt, okay, because the parmesan uh, cheese, the parmigiano reggiano, is already salted enough, so we should be fine with it. Uh, the original recipe has garlic, but we don't have garlic. And honestly, there are a lot of Italians that don't like garlic at all, so usually in Italy you find uh, uh, versions with garlic and versions without garlic because we don't eat a lot of garlic in Italy. Um, okay, so I would say that we can start. It would be super easy. Okay, so we have our blender. Um, we we'll put our basil inside together with the other ingredients. One thing that we would do is that I add some ice. The leaves will remain uh, a little bit greener, so freshy. Okay, so it's just for an uh, aesthetic thing, just for color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our pesto is ready, we will add some pepper. So now we will cook our pasta. Just add our pesto together with it. Okay, super fresh. Super easy. Enjoy.